to Nicey. See, while the guys are hunting the big game, the GT popping going on on one side of the boat, we're just getting something for dinner on the other side. <laughs> Using the atomic prongs, the go-to lure for just about anywhere in Australia. A little prawn, what doesn't like eating prawn? Nice little coral trout there, caught on a four inch atomic plazos in the prong. Great ghost, beautiful little fish, some uni take a litre there, spent a bit of time in the reef. You can see it's lovely and tough, it didn't break though. We've just anchored up on a, uh, on a reef edge here while we wait for the current to get a bit more flow in it so that we can start GT popping again. And while we do that, we've been having a ball catching some fish on just soft plastics. We've all come to using these atomic prongs which, uh, as you can see, this one's a bit hammered, but they're a really good prawn imitation. And uh, there's a lot of ways you can use these. Uh, we're using some nice Atomic Seekers jig heads. Uh, I'm using a 1 6 Some of the guys are using heavier ones all the way up to maybe half an ounce, depending on how you want to fish it. Um, there's a variety of techniques you can use with these. You can rip them pretty fast. You can literally almost dead stick them, just fish them just drifting along the bottom and fish will pick them up because they've got a lot of movement in them see all the little legs and uh, they've also got a little bit of a, a, a scent to them as well so the fish don't mind holding on to them for a while. The outfit I got here, um, a classic kind of what you'd say snapper outfit, the kind of outfit you can use all over the country and uh, probably the most versatile outfit in a fisherman's arsenal. Uh, talking about about a size 4000 reel, this is a 402 Samurai rod. Uh, which is made for you know fishing up to kind of 20 pound line. You can have 30 pound trace on that and you can really muscle some decent sized fish to the boat with it. Uh, the braid is a 20 pound Unitika, I think 18 pound actually. A really nice Japanese braid, very thin, very strong um, as a lot of the Japanese technology is. And using some Unitika uh, leader as well which is holding up pretty well. You can see it's frayed through here, you might not be able to see it. It's a little bit frayed through here where we've been getting a few coral trout and Spanish flag and things like that in from out of the coral. Uh, all the corals here, got some Polaroids so that you can see. Got my Makos here, you can see all the reef out here. It's probably hard to see actually with the, with the video camera because it's quite glary. And we're just basically flicking that plastic out with the light jig head. I'm just letting it really waft down through that current. The other guys, as I said, are fishing much more aggressively with heavier ones. Um, and we both seem to be getting results. Just a few light little flicks is all you need when you've got a light jig head with a big plastic like this. Um, the other option that I find does work well with the prongs, especially if you're fishing for flathead and things like that, is a little bit more of a slower drawer instead of flicking them really hard because they do have a tail and those legs that work well in the water so you can actually just lift them about three foot off the bottom and let them drop back down works really well for flathead down south. Another favourite technique that works really well in the estuaries down south and also on the coral up here is to cast out these atomic prongs as far as you can into the shallows and then you rip them for five metres or so and then just let them sit again because they've got those little tails on them and those little legs they'll start vibrating as it moves along and then you just pause them maybe give them another touch and then start them moving again. That speed and that movement in the lure will really attract fish from uh, a fair way off, much further than a lure that's worked really subtly. So it's a really good technique, whether you're chasing brim and things like that over the weed beds, or coral trout, little GTs and spangled emperor around these coral reefy areas. I'll take the coral reefy areas, a bit more fun for mine. <laughs> 